Changing the IP address of a Nexia device is very simple. If you're already connected to the network, all you need to do is click on File, Network, and select Perform Nexia Device Maintenance. Alternately, you can click on the icon in the toolbar. If you're not currently connected to the network, you'll need to first select File, Network, Connect to Network, and then after your connection is established, click on the Device Maintenance button. Every Nexia device will come from the factory with the IP address 192.168.1.101. Every device on your network must have a unique IP address. Therefore, if you have more than one Nexia on your network, you will have to change the IP address of every device except one, or possibly every device. In this case, we have 192.168.101 and 102. If I want to change the .101 device to 103 to make room for another additional device, I make sure that it is selected on the list, and then hit Set IP Address. Changing the IP address of the device requires a reboot. That's going to require that audio be suspended on the device. From this dialog, I can just type in the new address, hit OK, and the device will reboot. While the device is rebooting, the Nexia software is looking for that device. It's looking for the new IP address on the network. During that period of time, the Nexia software will not respond to keystrokes or mouse movement. That can cause Microsoft Windows to think the software has locked up. In fact, it hasn't. After about 60 to 90 seconds, the software will begin responding again, and you can continue on using the software. Once the device has finished rebooting and has been recognized by the Nexia software, it's important to note the audio is still turned off for that device. After changing the IP address, if the device has its program loaded and you want it to be passing audio, the first thing you need to do is close device maintenance, connect to that device, and then start audio. You can start audio by selecting File, Network, Start Audio, or by clicking on the icon in the toolbar. Once that's done, you can disconnect, and your device is ready for use with its new IP address.